So let's look at our uh, case study for temperate deciduous woodland, and for that we use Epping Forest in London. A bit like with the tropical rainforest, uh, let's start looking at how plants have adapted or are in harmony with their climate and soils. So again, in a very similar way to that we did before, if we draw a large tree, okay, and at uh, this time have some roots coming out at the bottom of it. First off, let's you know name a species that's common to temperate deciduous woodlands. So, oak trees are probably the first thing that comes to mind. You know, they grow tall and high up. Uh, in the same way that the rainforest, the canopy, or these tall oak trees, they grow up to get to as much sunlight as possible. It's kind of not as high as in uh, the rainforest, generally about 20 meters high. We then also have the sub canopy, so smaller trees. And things like hazel and rose trees grow here. And this is about 10 metres high. And then we've got the ground layer at about 2 metres and kind of the herbs right on the very surface of the ground. So starting off from the top again, let's look at some of the adaptions. What we generally find in uh, temperate deciduous woodland is that we have very large broad leaves and broad branches. This allows the trees to photosynthesize as much as possible during the short summer months because obviously during the winter they will lose their leaves and be unable to photosynthesize. So they need to grow tall with wide or broad branches and broad leaves to increase the amount of photosynthesis they can do during the summer. Now, as we know in the UK, most of our deciduous trees, well, all of them, lose their leaves during the autumn and into the winter. Okay. This is because they need to reduce the amount of water loss. Leaves are where uh, trees lose most of their water. And as a result, in the winter, when most of the water is frozen in the ground and the roots can't get to it, the tree needs to make sure it holds on to what water it does have. Uh, so it loses the leaves to stop this. Now this actually works fine because unlike in the rainforest where leaching is really high and we have uh, quite nutrient poor soils, we actually have very rich and fertile soils. So, there is no need for a constant top up of leaf litter, unlike in the rainforest. In the temperate deciduous woodland, that annual one yearly top up of nutrients from dead leaves is more than enough to keep the soil fertile. Leaching is much slower. Uh, another adaption, okay, uh, of again, things like ferns. Yeah, and bracken. And they're adapted to living at the ground level. They don't have an issue in living in quite dark conditions, not getting much of the light as most of it's taken up by the broad canopy. As I said, in the sub canopy, you get things like hazel trees, smaller than the oak, but much better acclimatized to living in sort of slightly darker conditions. Now, one of my favorite adaptions to talk about in the uh, temperate deciduous woodland is the bluebell. Okay, the bluebell, is designed or adapted so that it blooms much earlier than the rest of the vegetation. This means that actually it's in flower before the canopies come back so we can photosynthesize before the light is blocked out by the trees of the oak, uh, by the leaves of the oak tree.